secrets of the most beautiful and most amazing top tenors out there in the world. How the blooming heck are you doing today? I'm Rebecca Fergate and this is Most Amazing Top 10. And in case you hadn't listened to my accent and put two and two together, I am English. So I feel pretty qualified to give you the top 10 facts about England. Ooh, let's get going with a fun one, shall we? In at number 10, the Queen owns all of the swans and dolphins and whales. Yes, she does. So we love our Queen. I, for one, absolutely love her sassy suits and matching top hats. They're amazing. But there is more to this lady than meets the eye. So technically, the Crown owns all of the unmarked mute swans in open water. But at this very moment in time, the Queen only exercises her ownership rights on some stretches of the River Thames and its offshoots. Also, a law dating back to 1324 says that the whales, dolphins and sturgeons are recognised as fishes royal if they're within three miles of the UK shore. Side fact for you, the Queen doesn't actually run the country, a lot of people think she does but she doesn't, it's actually run by an elected Prime Minister and she does have just like a couple of powers, meaning you know she can still feel like a sassy Queen. In at number 9, Colchester is the oldest English town. So if you happen to be driving into Colchester in Essex, you'll see signs proclaiming it's the oldest recorded town like ever. Ever, but in England. So Colchester used to be called Camelodonium and it was founded in around 16 AD by Romans. There is also evidence of life beyond the Romans. Colchester is surrounded by Neolithic and Bronze Age monuments that predate the town. In at number 8, there are around 250 historic castles in England. Now this number doesn't include Wales, Northern Ireland or Scotland. If it did, the number would be much bigger. But to put it simply, England is literally covered in castles. There are heaps and heaps and heaps of authentic historic castles in England, some dating back to the Middle Ages. Now the oldest castle in England dates back to 1154 and that is Windsor Castle, one of the Queen's current residences. So my favourite castles in England include Bodium Castle in Kent, Bamborough Castle in Northumberland and Bolton Castle in the Yorkshire Dales, sideline. If I was ever going to get married I would do it there. Love Bolton Castle. In at number 7, nowhere in the UK is more than 70 miles from the ocean. So as an island, a pretty small island at that, you are never more than 70 miles. So around 113 kilometers away from the sea at any time in England. So the furthest place in England away from the sea is a place called Cotton in the Elms, although Lichfield in Staffordshire is also pretty far. Fun side fact for you guys, England is technically no longer an island. Since we built the Channel Tunnel, we're now connected with France and the rest of Europe. Technicalities though, we still consider ourselves an island. In at number 6, English people drink more tea than anywhere else in the world. That's right, the stereotype is literally true. Us Brits absolutely love a good cup of tea. Now most of us have it with hot milk and many have sugars. I for one absolutely cannot function without a cup of tea in the morning. Ideally I'd have two before I had to go to work. Anyway, it is official, English people consume more tea per capita than anywhere else in the world. So this is 2.5 times more tea than the Japanese and 22 times more than the Americans or the French. However, because of the population size of the United Kingdom, it's actually the fifth biggest consumer of tea in the world. On average, British people consume 876 cups of tea each year, which honestly sounds about right to me. That's only just over two a day, so I think maybe we drink more. In at number five, England invented football, that's right, yes. So some of you guys will say soccer, but in England we call it football. We should know, we invented it, kind of. So ancient Romans and Chinese cultures had games played on foot with balls, but football or soccer, as we know it today with its rules and styles, was invented in England. A sport called football was so popular it was even banned from being played in 1314. Officially, football came the game that we know today in the mid-1800s, with the Football Association set up in 1860. In at number 4, England has some of the best musicians in the world. That's right, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Adele, David Bowie, Led Zeppelin, the Sex X Pistols, The Kinks, One Direction, Radiohead, Oasis, Pink Floyd, The Smiths, T-Rex, Joy Division, The Clash, Arctic Monkeys, Muse, Fleetwood Mac, Amy Winehouse, oh my god, the list literally goes on and on and on and on. But you know what, England, the music scene is hot. Now I'm not sure whether it's something we put in the water, but we certainly breed excellent musicians. The Beatles, for example, are largely accepted as the world's 
first supergroup. In at number three, England invented postage stamps. So the idea of postage stamps was conceived in England. In 1680, William Dock Ra and his partner Robert Murray established the London Penny Post. Now this was a mail system that delivered letters and small parcels inside the city of London for the sum of just one penny. However, it wasn't until 1840 that the first adhesive stamp came into play. Now, if you have one of these stamps, it's called the Penny Black, you'll be sitting on an absolute gold mine. They go for so much money these days. Fun side fact for you guys, it's actually considered an act of treason to put a postage stamp with the Queen's head upside down on an envelope. So don't do it. If not, she'll kill you. She won't, but she won't be happy. In at number two, an English man invented the World Wide Web. www.shocker, who knew? Now, the World Wide Web is a little bit different to the internet. The internet is the system, and the World Wide Web is kind of the ability to build and navigate within that system. So maybe think of the internet as like the earth and the World Wide Web as the means to locate everything that lives in it. Get that? Good. Now, the World Wide Web was invented by English scientist Tim Berners Lee in 1989. He also wrote the first web browser in 1990. Now, Tim was also a strong contributor in the invention of the internet himself. Without him, we probably wouldn't be doing like this right now. Yay! So, guys, we have reached that all important moment in our most amazing top 10 facts about England. I love it. Before I hit you guys with the number one spot, I wanted to give you some honourable mentions. So, I have to say, English honourable mentions go right out there to Shakespeare, the world's most famous playwright, and our mate JK Rowling, the English author of Harry Potter, which is set in England. Hooray! Okay, so we have reached our number one. Some of you guys may know this, some of you may not, but this is my favourite fact about England. In at number one, cheese rolls rolling is an old English tradition. That's right. In England, we roll cheese and it's literally terrifying. So cheese rolling is an annual event held on the spring bank holiday at the end of May. It takes place in Cooper's Hill in Gloucestershire. Now a wheel of cheese is rolled down a hill and people literally fall over themselves trying to catch it. It literally sounds crazy. You need to see it to believe it, maybe YouTube it. Now the event sees a lot of injuries and has been described as 20 young men chasing a cheese off a cliff and tumbling 200 yards to the bottom where they're scraped up by paramedics and packed off to hospital. So if you watch a video, you'll essentially see grown men throwing themselves down a hill trying to get some cheese. So there we go. So that was our top 10 facts about England and I want to know what you guys think. Did I leave anything out? Is anyone from England out there? Holler at me homies in the comments section down below. I'm Rebecca Felgate. I'm really proud to be English. I think Danny Burke is too. This is Most Amazing Top 10. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and we'll probably literally love you forever and ever.